How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to the Nostalgia Train. So, uh, if you guys saw the last episode, we kind of sped through the ending just so we could activate what we're going to be doing today. A bunch of side quests that I really hope to guide that one of them is not that stupid bookworm who keeps losing his diary. If he shows up, I swear, I'm just gonna throw my controller. Well, backwards, over. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I am going to murder this guy. <laughs> All right, we're just getting this out of the way. Hey! Hey! Oh, it's you. Hello, mister. Hmm? Oh, why? Hello there, dear boy. Yeah, hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Eh? Oh, not at all, old thing. I was just exercising the old dicky whistle. I rather suspect my troubles might be at an end, don't you know? Really? So you're going to finish up your diary and head on home, huh? Yes, yes, yes! It's about the size of it, yes. I made a jolly exciting discovery that I don't I think might top off my story rather nicely. What kind of discovery? What kind indeed, old stick? What does that even mean? You see, I came across a large and rather ruined looking door on the far edge of the forest. I wrote the details down for posterity, of course. Let me just grab the old diary. Oh, I say. Wild guess, you lost the damn thing again. I could have sworn it was. Oh, blast of botheration. Fine. At least this is the last one. After this, good freaking riddance to you, sir. Leave it to us, mister. We'll find it for you. You really are, brick old thing. What does that mean? Again, what does that mean? I died in the wool, true blue brick. Uh, sure. So, if you wrote the details down in your diary, you must remember where you last had it, huh? I don't know. Did you mention it? I suppose I must. Yes, it must have been by the door itself. That's simple. Right here. Just tell us where this ruined door is and we'll be off. Oh no, let me see. Where is it? I'm not even going to bother you reading all this. You went south of town. So, kind of southwest, southeast ish. Or southwest ish. That's neither one's a beeline. I wondered, oh, deeper and deeper. And came to a big ruined door, right? Yes, I. Okay. I know, I get it. I do. Have to think of where that. Can we just go? That's how I'm annoyed I am by helping someone lose the same stupid thing over and over and over and over and over again. Ask them to learn from their mistakes, they don't. Okay, so south of here. Make a beeline, which is about this. Wait, that? The beam line's about 45 degrees, I believe. At max 60, which wouldn't help, it would still be this. Wait. Is a cave here? Hello? Uh. Hi? Nothing. I didn't even know this area existed. What is this? I should probably point out I've never done the post game stuff so before, so this is completely blind. Uh, hello? What is that? Who? 
Okay, that's probably his diary. What the hell? Is that a man in a bunny head costume thing? What? Hi! Uh... Okay, then. We'll just, you know, sure. Look, Mr. Trippy, it's that gentleman's diary. I'm more intrigued by the fact that there's something in the background, a freaking guy in a bunny head costume. Never mind that, Holly boy. What about that flipping huge door by there? Wow. Sure feels like we've seen this door somewhere before. Where? I don't remember ever seeing that door. That's really obscure. Okay, bye-bye. Sure. Why the hell not? No, okay, no, my... I, I want to avoid the other guy at all costs. We're, we're going to check out that door. Hello? Hi? Ho ho! So you found me, did you, Oliver? Or do you prefer to be called the Savior? Eh? Who are you? When you're at home. And what do you want with us? What? That? Okay. What do I want? Why, I want you to follow me. Follow me to a whole new world. Oh, and you may call me the Conductor. In fact, I urge you to. <laughs> but... Uh, Mr. Conductor, how do you know who I am? <laughs> you're the savior. Everyone knows who you are. Looks like you're a proper celeb now, Ollie boy. Quite right. Okay. Too many dudes talking at once. Quite right, too. After all, the broken hearts you've been mending. Oh my, yes. Indeed. You have given heart and taken heart in equal measure, saving countless poor souls in the process. And by restoring balance to all those people's hearts, you've brought peace to this world. You do know what would have happened if it weren't for you, don't you? You all know what would have happened, Mon. The whole world would have ended up broken hearted. Correct. Okay, thanks for giving me the obvious. Who are you? At least in part. What? A ruby cart would indeed have been broken. And that's to be this. What would have become of all the strong hearts? The ones that the imbalance favored. Eh? What do you want about? Confused, are you? <laughs> this world is all about balance. When that balance is lost, rifts are formed. Those broken-hearted people you've been working so hard to help, each harbors a certain type of rift. But that's not the only type. Okay. So? What other types are there? <laughs> Would you stop laughing and just explain things? I think you'd better see for yourself. You're about to enter a whole new world. Okay. You do want to go, don't you? Wish to be enlightened yet? Sure. Wonderful. Thank you, Oliver. I have nothing but admiration for your inquisitive spirit. To right to Ollie Boy wants to know it all. It's it. Speaking of which, what are we supposed to be doing? Why? Sealing the wrists, of course. Uh, sorry, Mr. Conductor. But I'm not sure what these rifts are. Each one is the nexus of a spectrum of potentiality. The very definition of a lost soul. Don't you see? No! I don't have a flippant clue to what you're on about. Good, Drippy, you and I are on the same page. I just realized I'm on the same mental page as a nut. This bothers me. Oh boy. Fear not, it's probably better not to think about it too much. 
All you need to know is that these rifts have manifested in this world. How is that going to help me? And in the midst of each, there is a terrifying monster. You surely remember how nightmares afflict the brokenhearted? Well, this is rather similar. Okay. So you want us to wall up some beasties, is it? Well, why didn't you flip it say so? Ready, LA boy? Uh, sure. Oh, thank you so much, Oliver. You should be able to receive further details about the locations and swift solutions. The world needs its savior. Counting on you. Okay, bye. Totally not weirded out by this at all. And in a buddy suit is asking me to kill monsters. I was asking, I was expecting him to just ask for a carrot. <sighs> all right. Well, that's all the time I could delay. Here you go, butthole. I don't care what you have to say. Shut up. I am sick and tired of your BS. Give me. Oh, and give me that. I hope to never see you again. Wait, what? Wait, do you get this for actually helping him each time? There's no hope to never see you again. Okay. Now, Nut Brain Dave is going to go into Swift Solutions and see what I can find. All right, let's see if we can find bounties first. What? Wow. You are no stamps for most of these. Why? Ugh. <sighs> Oh boy. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Um. This, this. This this is a lot of bounties. All right then. Actually, can I claim any merits? Nope. Yeah, shush, Taskmaster. I get it. And oh boy. All right, well, we got the rest of our tasks in our journal. Let's just get it going. Let's take care of all this. Are any of them going to be... Am I going to have to look like literally everywhere to find out where these things are? First of all... Let's do the errands first. That's skipping a lot. There are a lot of side quests being missed here. Harry Golden Grove is anxiously waiting for someone to return. What? Okay. Time to go to Golden Grove, I guess. Is it the same fairy we already helped? It's gonna be the same fairy, isn't it? If he's standing right next to the ending of this area, it's. Wait, there. Oh boy. One of those is the rift, isn't it? Oh, this can't be good. Oh, this can't end well for me. Nut brain it. What in the hell is that? What is that? Let's do it. 
A golden hierophant? It looks shiny. I want it. Actually, that thing's dying quickly. Okay, well, he's dead. I guess I'm not getting it. He's, he's dead. There we go. Enemies running for me. That looks a bit more accurate to where we should be. Now. Yeah, just keep going forward from here. This feels like the Golden Grove we've been to already. All right, up here. And... Why do I feel like that all these... Bounties that the conductor wants me to deal with, they're just gonna be there while I'm doing the side quest stuff. The other side quest stuff. Go. This psycho fence. What is that supposed to be? Like a freaking hier a psychotic hierophant? Or elephant? Or whatever the hell you want to call these things? Ow. That looks like it hurt. <laughs> Okay, if you say so, Swain. I got a big babana from that thing. A big babana. Alright. Oops. Why do I keep pushing the wrong button? Alright, hello. Nippity ya. Nut brain Dave needs to come by and get some more nuts for his brain. That way it don't run out. That's the rift. That right there is the rift. Cool. Alright. He's taking on. What's going on here? I've got a proper bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. B5 Fifum. I smell the blood of a something rum. That wow, good job, Drippy. Is this something to do with the rifts that the conductor character was on about? What shall we do, Ellie boy? Sure, let's examine the... Yeah, let's just go in. What threat are you? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. I'll be fine. Wait. It's just me? I was gonna say, if it's just me, I'm screwed. But no, no, I'm not alone. Bro. This guy ain't gonna kill me. He ain't gonna kill any of us at this rate. Ah, crap. Oh, this is not gonna feel good. Ow. That looks like it hurt. Hee <laughs> hee. I can give this guy a taste of his own medicine. Excuse me? Are these rifts basically just a boss gauntlet where it's basically all the bosses but a bit harder? Ow! Well, that hurt. <laughs> and. Go, kitty, go! I mean, Trippy, you did warn me, but the guy's almost dead, and that was no problem whatsoever, so... Ow! That tickled. See? No problem. That's one rift down. I'm not sure how many to go, though. Was that one of the bounties, technically? Alright. Bounty hook complete. Looks like solutions to claim your reward. Ah, later. Hi. How do you, Drippy Boy? Tough for you help back there. No need to take him on. All in a day's work for the Lord High Lord. Ain't it? Now, where are the other fairies? Still not come back, is it? No, man. No sign of them. They all went far away, see. 
they probably haven't heard that the forest is all peaceful again. I worry about them, Trippy Boy. I really do. This fairy saint cut out for life there. I know, man. Why don't you go and tell them that the forest is back to normal? You do that for us, wouldn't you? Sure. How many people are we trying to find? What? Oh, right. I forgot you do that. Really? Oh, Ta, Tama. I want to help, honest, I do, but your friends could be almost anywhere. Yeah, there's that. Is that some place you think we should look first? No problem, on. I've got a special way of knowing exactly where that's what. Now then, just give me a minute. I'm not making that sound. I don't know what sound effect that is, so I'm just not going to try making it. I see something. It's a flag button. A flag with a skull on it. So, we're going to, what? The Sky Pirates Hideout, I'm assuming. Red flag with the skull, yeah. Whoa, that's pretty neat. How come you can find out where your friends are? Tee hee. How old are you? <sighs> Y'all are, are just like the nut behind me. More nuts for my nut brain. Stop it. All you need to do is really think. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Now, there's five fairies not to come back yet. But I can only see where one of them is like. That'll do for now. Fix it. Go and get this first one. And take it back to the forest. Come on. Oh, okay. Alright. Will do, mister. Alright, so based off that, Skull Mountain. It has to be Skull Mountain. There's no other place that had a red flag with a skull. Well, there's no place that had skull-related items in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oop. I'm not trying to fight. I know I can kill all of you in, like, three, four hits anyway. Ah, there you are. Wow, fairy in a place like this? Hey, you must be one of the Golden Grove fairies, right? Mama, go ahead. Not fight. Well, okay, yeah, but not anymore. There's no way I'm going back to that. You've got beasties right next to you, and you're afraid of beasties. Dude, you're an idiot. Calm down, will you, man? It's all sorted now. Be a dolly boy if I uh, have restored peace to Golden Grove City. Should it be? Is it really you, man? That's right, boy. Lord, I lord to you, though. That's it. Now then, look sharp. Your buddies are waiting for you. Really? Tidy. You have to leave it, man. Over the moon I am. I suppose I better head off then, is it? Yeah, don't worry. We'll come with you. Kinda have to anyway. Fast travel. Yay. Blah, blah, blah. Tell me where the next one is. All you nutballs just need to get... Get to the point! Ruins filled with water. And a cell. I forget the name. Tears... It, it, had the word tea. It's that place where we found uh, Ali. Alright, see ya. Okay. Travel to the Vault of Tears. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's go inside and find this fairy. Or sorry, this nut. I'm finding nuts to put in my brain hole. I'm just shoving them in my ear, and as I do, I'm just like, Ugh. Get shivers, but for some weird reason, I'm fine with it. Don't ask, it's like, I, I don't know. I can explain it like a fetish or something else, but you, you'll be worrying yourself too much, so don't. Just don't, don't think about it. Yeah, okay. Is it just the way that we went? I, I was thinking this is the way we went when we actually went to the back, but... Okay. Hi. Craigie! <laughs> Humans! Don't be scared. You're one of the nutheads from Golden Grove, right? I mean, fairies. We've come to tell you that it's safe for you to go back to the forest. Really? Like, serious? That's right, man. 
Time for you to head home to your buddies, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh flippin' heck, but this is the best news ever. I just ran for the forest as fast as I could. How did you end up here? I thought this would be a good place to hide. Then I got trapped in here, didn't I? I thought I was a total donner like. That's why I'm so blinking. Chuck! Sorry, man. This is all getting too much. Uh, it's nothing, really. There's no need to cry. Flippin' heck, Bunting. This one's worse than you. He's going to get rid of something rotten when he gets back to the forest. <laughs> Drippy. Mr. Drippy. You shouldn't make fun of people like that. It's not nice. Let's just take him home, shall we? Yeah, good idea. All right. Who's number three? I don't want to hear your ramblings about how I found someone. Okay. Weird other world, one I've not seen before. Either Motorville or Nazca. Huh? Look at that. Oliver! Saw these metal boxes, right? The humans it up. Motorville. Right to Ollie boy. Off the truck. Okay. First, let's get out of here. Why? I don't get why you have to use travel gateway outside of this area. I don't like that. Oops. Motorville. Okay. These are actually... I'm getting these done pretty quickly. Kind of surprised. Simple enough. Just watch it be another rift. If that's the case, I'll take it down, but... Like, that last one wasn't very hard at all. Hi, Philip. Where the heck am I on? Proper weird this place is. Uh, this is my home. How dare you call it weird. <laughs> Sorry, brain spaz. I'm losing nuts. I'm gonna shove you... Here you up, shove you in my ear, I'll make, make sure to put the insertation tube in properly, and then just go, uh, 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 uh. all right, is it inside? Uh, wait, 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 wait. All right, it's back in there. Nice. I feel strong and happy again. Don't ask me, man. I ain't got the flippin' fungus. Uh, I was running my fastest to get the heck out of Golden Grove. The next thing I know is, I buy it. You must run pretty flippin' fast. Well, the grove is peaceful again, Mr. Fairy. You can go home now. Is it? Is it indeed? You sure enough? You ain't pulling my leg or nothing? Nah, man. We're dead serious. Consider your leg unpulled and use it to hop on home to gro go to grove. That's a good lad. Fanny, that I will. I'm James. Who the hell is James? Who... That's random. That's really random to say. Hang on a minute. How the flip am I supposed to get back? Come on. I didn't even know how I got over by air in the first place. It's okay. We'll take you home. You will? Well, I must say, that's a very decent of you. I'll leave the travel arrangements in your capable hands then. Ta very much. If this is how my brain thinks that there are big problems here, I... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I honestly don't care what you have to say. If you guys care, freeze frame, but... Shut up! Just tell me what the next one is. A narrow little cave. Tracks inside it. Somewhere in Hamelin. Very pale human. Not Hamelin. Well, yes, Hamelin. It's... I know where that is. We've been here already. This was kind of on the eastern side of Hamelin. It was where that skeleton character is, I believe. Seems like it, at least. But if that's the case, then we're going to need... Tangri. Uh, which way is Hamelin again? Oh, by yeah? Oh, great. Now that not very... 
How the nutheads are starting to impact my brain in a negative way. Me no likey. I love how the ivory tower is just right between everything. Alright. And... This is Perdita. Can't go there for some weird reason. there, maybe? No. Because that's not accessible. Oh, there. There. <clears throat> Let's see if I'm right. Possibly? If I have the dots are right next to each other, but it does look like I'm right. Yep, that's what I thought. Hi. All right, bruh. Flip it, heck about. You've got a visitor. That's unusual. No, I've been over here before. My c c cave is obviously the place to be. What kind of avant god double act is this? A fairy and a skeleton. I've never seen a like about quite the c c combination, eh? I'm supposed to be this straight man, but I c can't seem to stop grinning. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you two doing here exactly? What do you mean? This is my home, young man. It's dark, c c it's cramped, and it's full of grog. This is the death, I'm telling you. Okay. And I decided to move in after some. And I decided to move in after some mo horrible monsters set up camp in my own forest. It just took me a moment to realize it was the nuthead. Actually, that's no nuthead. He's blue up top. Uh. You know what? I'll, I'll stick to fairy for you. For everything else, they're all being called nutheads except for you. Because you're the only one who's not yellow up here. Or brown? I have no idea. Hang on a minute. You're one of the Golden Grove lot, ain't you? I am, as it goes. But what's that got to do with anything? Golden Grove is peaceful again. It's safe for you to go back now. What? Serious? To be honest, I've been having such a good time by, uh, with my new friend. I'd forgotten all about going back. Now that you mention it, I do miss the old place. Hey, thanks for letting me know, boys. I'll head back to the forest quite quick shot, is it? Then I shall return to my solitary non-existence. <laughs> wow, that's dark. But feel free to come and visit any time. Okay, I guess. Alright, there you go, dude. Next. No, next. Next. Oh my gosh. Shut up. This is why I call you nuts. This is why I call you nuts. You belong in someone's brain. Someone who's always... At least someone who'd be a bit more reasonable. Forest dweller... <sighs> okay, so this is basically saying it's in a forest that's near... Yule? Okay. I guess we'll find it. Most dwellers, is it? Fighting them would be a blooming nightmare. Yeah. Come on, Mr. JP. This is the last one. Let's find the clue and start looking. Uh. Well, I don't remember there being any forests on <coughs> Yule. I think on a accidental or a failed recording once when I was doing one of the bounties um, on oh, what, is it, what is it called again? Jack Frost's Playground I think the, the, we had remember the bounty that we did on Jack Frost's Playground I had a failed recording before that and I think I ran into a forest that ha maybe that's it because there aren't any here that I can think of let's go try 
If that's not it, then there must be one here that I don't know about. <clears throat> I believe this is Jack Frost's playground here. Uh, boy. Nope, this is Scrooge Island. Oops. That's probably it then. Gotta love do it, doing these find things side quests. Finding things! Missions for nut brains. Apparently. Yeah, okay, there it is. So, am I right? Yeah, I kind of came in and left. Then again, failed recording, so let's pick these up. Frosty Flan. Alright. And ice cream. Makes sense. Yeah, okay. Hi. Excuse me, are you a fairy from Golden Grove? Crikey, how the heck do you know that? We were there not too long ago. And the good news is, it's peaceful again. Really? Well, that's tiny and all, but uh, I reckon this is the place for me. Thinking of settling down by here, I am. Huh? You don't want to go back to Golden Grove? Nah, man. These forest dwellers are proper friendly, you see. And you get used to the cold after a while, too. You're having a laugh, man. Your buddies have been going spa, worrying about you. My buddies? Flip the heck, man. Now you mention it, I do miss them, so they're rotten. I suppose I better get back to the Golden Grove then, eh? Ta. You go back to your forest? I little lonely. Aw, oh, poor girl. Don't worry, man. I'll come and visit. And that, ain't it? You won't have time to get lonely. Yes, you come. I wait. Oh boy. Right. You said your goodbyes now. I think it's time to get you home. Wow. Derby, you're kind of a butt. This is why I call you a nut. You you are a giant nut, Drippy. You belong in, you you don't belong in your own thought process. You know, I think that's all the fairies now, Mr. Drippy. Tiny. Time to bask in the warm glow of fairy gratitude, I reckon. It's gonna grow, Valley Boy. Finally. Now I'll read everything he has to say. There you go. Hi again. You found the last missing fairy. What? You found them all? Oh, Tabon! I owe you a couple of fairy rabbits. For this, and no mistake, I did. I bet you're glad to have all your friends back. It's all thanks to you and your pal, by a drippy boy. Now, I've had a little something just to say thanks, ain't it? One, one, take it. Cool. Actually, double cool. Oh, I take these formulas while you're at it. They should help you make some tidy weapons. Proper handy if our force comes under attack sometime. Cool. Okay, where are we on time? You know what? There's one more thing I want to do really quick. See if he's there. So I double checked on Horus um, to see where he was. And. He should be in Aura Memoir. Or his last stop should, at least. Oh my gosh. So he should be here next. Should, I think. Find out in a sec. <sighs> Surprising. Wait. Is that? Uh. Hi. Okay, 
it? Where is the... Uh, where is it? There it is. Grief. Ah, oh, it has been a while, has it not? Huh? So sorry, sir, to have you there. You really don't know? Well, I suppose I have changed my appearance somewhat since we last met. What the flippin' heck is he on about? Hello there. I've been waiting for you. I have a tale I dearly wish to share with you. Uh, okay. There was once a kingdom where we now stand. A mighty king united the surrounding lands and established his realm there. This king treated all his subjects equally. But they, be they humans, animals, or magical creatures, a new era of peace was dawning. So it seemed. But there were those who despised the king. Covetous souls who envied his power. They plotted against him, sowing discord throughout the kingdom, and in so doing set Nazca on the road to ruin. But there my memory became but there my memory becomes hazy. I cannot recall their names, nor even their outward appearance. Were there twelve? Are you talking about the Zodiacs? Even now that my amnesia has been cured, their faces remain hidden to me. Listen, I'm, I'm not sure what you want us to say. It ain't as if we've got the first flipping clue what the rotters look like. I know that, but I also know that I recorded my fears about them somewhat. I sent a message, a warning, so that when people saw them, they would know to beware. But where? Seriously, another search thing? Good grief. I know I've got a nut brain, but seriously, why? Wait, yes. I hate it in a magical tome. It would never age or decay. The wizard's companion. Ah, never mind. Which means you must have seen it. I think. I wanted people to know what they looked like. Perhaps what they wore. Yes, that makes sense. The robes they wore are described somewhere in that book. Along with a warning must know where it is. I'm sure that's the key that will unlock my memories. Please help me recover what remains of my missing past. <sighs> Alright, well, not gonna have you guys watch me search for it. Be right back. This was kind of a no-brainer. I can't believe I didn't know this without having to look it up. It was they who were at the root of the kingdom's strife. It was they who under undermined that noble king, those twelve evil souls. But I cannot seem to recall what they looked like. I am certain that I had a warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wizard's robes. I'm an idiot. There you go. Yes, that's right. Now I remember. Those fiends clad themselves in wizard's robes. I can see them now, deep in deliberation. They were the Council of Twelve. Each member was given the title of Zodiac. And that is not all. Well, come on, come on. Spit it out. What have you remembered? I was there all those millennia ago. I swore fealty to the Wizard King. Yes, I now remember. I was a sage of Nazca. You were? But that means, did you know Cassiopeia? What? How do you know that name? Cassiopeia. The Cassiopeia. So long ago. I've sensed her spirit at times over the years. It's unmistakably her, but I know not what to tell her. I think I'd better take over here. Now pay attention, because I'll only say this once. I, I see. So Queen Cassiopeia, she, she gave in to the darkness. And that ash I saw fall on Big Dog Bill, that was her doing? Oliver, you really might be the one to save her. Wizard King entrusted you with his wand, after all. 
Oh, we'll save her, sir. I just know we will. Uh, that's the spirit. Of course, the Wizard King's wand is not yet at full strength. Flip it, heck. Not this again. <laughs> Fear not. To one who was once called the Sage of Ages, it is but a trifling matter. Eh? So we don't have to go traipsing round after magic stones then? Fit, fit for that. Now let me begin. Awake, O oh Wand of the Wizard King. Awake, O oh Astra. Huh? Trophier and Magic Master. What is... Why do I feel like this spell is going to do a lot of damage to things? So, it's uh, all ready to go now, huh? Neat. Thank you, sir. The true power that dwells within a wand can sometimes require effort to be drawn out. I believe that you alone can harness the full power of Astra with it. You will be able to cast spells that only a king among wizards has ever wielded. I sure hope so. And you're sure you're all... Right, setting the likes of us loose with such snazzy spells? It just lets you, after all. <laughs> you have never had a problem accepting spells from me before. What? What do you mean, before? Hold on a minute. You're not telling me. You're Horace? <laughs> I was wondering when the guild uh, would drop. Better late than ever. Indeed. I was once a sage known as Horologium. Or Horace, to my friends. Who would have thought a mouthy little brat like Horace would have grown up to be so important looking, eh? How many times must I tell you? I was the sage of ages. I was no normal boy. Wow. So does this mean you finally got your memory back? Indeed it does. And I have much to thank you for. Now, there is little I can do to save Queen Cassiopeia in my current state. I am afraid that I must humbly ask you to do all in your power to free her from the darkness. Sure thing, Horace. We'll save her. You see if we don't. You are a brave and pure-hearted warrior, Oliver. I will pray for your success. Cool, thank you. Wait, what? You've got more? You've got more? You got more? Oh boy. Well, for right now, I'm gonna have to leave this edit here anyway. I. You have more? What is it, Horace? I must tell you about Nazca and Cassiopeia. I'm about myself. What do you attempt to say? Why did I, I, why did I continue with this? Why was I stupid enough to continue with this? Okay. Good to know the truth. Oh, uh, wait. Not yet. If you wish, not me to impose. Okay. Um, but we'll do that next time. As I said, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kui, Wrath of the White Witcher Master. Looks like we got a lot of side stuff ahead of us. This nut brain is going to head off and take care of himself. Regardless of what's going on, it's still sick. But in the meantime, if you like this video, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a Game of Panda and Namco or level 5 you'd like to see on here. Let me know in the comments below. I have done one thing prior to this by level 5. Didn't play through it the whole way, but I was just basically looking through to see how I felt about it. If you want to know my thoughts on it, click the link in the bottom right hand corner to lead me to that destination. Or to how far I actually played into it. But if you want to check out the rest of the stops on this ride, there are several, so just be forewarned about that. Click the link across right here to try to take you there. In the meantime, this trains off to its next destination where we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!